friends today we are going to add a ssd disk to asus Tough gaming f17 you can see we already have two discs one is uh, 500 gigs and another is uh, one terabyte they both are nvmes let's uh, flip the laptop and uh, we'll have to open all 11 screws at the back. Once we have all the screws open, let's open the black panel. Uh, the panel is a bit tight, so we'll have to get something uh, uh, hard, or very thin and hard, could be any uh, plastic uh, opener, something. Now the panel is open, and in the bottom right, you can see the empty uh, slot for the SSD. We have a very small notch where we have to fix, you can see HDDCON where we have to fix the connector, the center connector. This is the circuit connector and the screws we got with the laptop. So let's uh, take it out. So we are going to fix a two terabyte crucial crucial MX five hundred uh, SSD disk to this uh, laptop. Uh, it's quite difficult to fix it. Uh, with a battery because uh, we don't have sufficient space open we have to put the, the connector uh, under the under the battery so i have taken out the battery and you can see now the uh, connector is uh, fixed and let's uh, fix the ssd Let's fix the battery back. So first we'll have to connect the connector to the battery connector to the motherboard. And then we can tighten the screw. and uh, tighten them. Now the SLP is fixed, so let's take the back panel and uh, cover the laptop. We'll now check uh, with the SSD in the operating system. So 
So we have power on the laptop and uh, it is uh, detecting the new hardware. Normally when we start the laptop it takes hardly 5 to 7 seconds for the Asus logo to come up. However, uh, the new, new uh, hardware it is uh, taking time. This uh, behavior we have seen uh, a couple of times whenever a new hardware is added. The hardware is added. It takes some time to after that, the uh, boot will be not. So you can see the Asus logo has come up and it's uh, uh, booting. The OS has booted and we can see we have only two discs in Windows Explorer. Let's open disk management. And you can see it has detected a new SSD. Let's click on OK. Format the disk, take the default drive, default table, and see the explorer has popped up. And uh, we have the third disk now. Just a little space, space in the disk, and pull up. 